Long-term care in Minnesota needs 23,000 staff and counting, and former operators need to pay $6.2 million for an outbreak that killed 11 children. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, October 13th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member. You can enroll quickly on our website at nacacna.org. Join today and stand up for what you deserve. Long-term care providers in Minnesota are working to fill thousands of unfilled positions, 23,000 to be exact, according to a recent survey by Leading Age Minnesota. Data released Thursday by the organization also found that vacant positions have led to about 20% of long-term care shifts being filled through overtime or the use of temporary staff. In August alone, long-term care providers lost a net of 2,000 staff statewide. Additionally, nearly 70% of nursing homes are restricting admissions because of the lack of staffing, which is up from around 40% from just two months ago. Of the 23,000 open positions, more than 12,000 are from assisted living communities. The shortages are also now creating burnout among staff. Quote, we can't admit people if we don't have the staff to take care of them, added Patty Cullen, president and CEO of Care Providers of Minnesota. She continued, it's not that we don't want to take care of the seniors and help the families and communities. We cannot because we don't have the staff available to do that. In Pennsylvania, long-term care facilities have had similar struggles after a survey among providers revealed that 74% of respondents have had to limit or put admissions on hold within the past six months, while others have created a wait list for seniors. Other states, including Florida and Texas, have also recently conducted member surveys indicating major shortages are leading to restricting admissions. The former operators of a New Jersey facility do not have to admit any wrongdoing in settling a wrongful death lawsuit filed in response to a deadly viral outbreak that killed 11 children. The settlement was announced Monday by attorney Paul DaCosta, who represented the families that sued the Winnok Center for Nursing and Rehabilitation, and also former owners Daniel Bruckstein and Eugene Renfeld. An outbreak of the adenovirus at the facility infected dozens, including one staff member, and killed 11 children in September of 2019. The settlement agreement also calls for $6.2 million to be paid to the defendants by the former facility's insurance carrier. The 92-bed skilled nursing and pediatrics facility was sold in 2019 and renamed the Phoenix Center for Rehabilitation and Pediatrics. In response to the incident, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy signed a 2019 law requiring certain long-term care facilities to develop and submit an outbreak response plan to the state's Department of Health. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.